Alright guys, what's up? My name is the Halo Player, welcome back to another video. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today for a video is, uh, you can see we're out here. Pretty awesome looking bridge here that we're going to cross. But what we're going to be doing anyways is, we're going to do kind of like a, uh, I thought it would be a cool idea to do kind of like a survival scenario for you guys. Um, I don't know, I thought it would be pretty cool, pretty fun for us, and probably pretty cool for you guys to watch as well. So what we're going to do is, we're going to walk out here a ways into the woods, and uh, what we're going to do is the scenario basically is going to be, we got lost in the woods for a long while, and... We found our way out, but we were too far to get back, and it's getting really dark out, and it's time to go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we got lost, like I said, and that it's getting dark out, and basically we're just going to build a shelter to stay the night. We're not actually going to, um, but we're going to build a shelter to stay the night and see if we can make a fire. I think it would be pretty cool for you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way out here and uh, then we're going to set ourselves up and uh, we'll start filming. So I'll bring you guys up here with me and let's we'll see if we can find a good area to do this. Let's make our way over here Mike. Yeah, that's... The stuff on a tree right here is pretty dry. Yeah. And so we'll grab some of this. That's a good idea. Yeah. Are you like some professional? <laughs> is that on? Yeah. Alright guys, I don't know if Steven said yet, but we're going to do a little scenario. Um, it happens. You plan a nice day hike. Sometimes you go off trail and you get lost. So our scenario is that we know we now know where we're going, but the sun is coming down, and we need to get warm. It's getting cold. We don't want to hike out in the dark. We want to play it safe. So we're gonna build a shelter and a quick little fire to stay warm. So that's why we're birch trees are great. A lot of people know that because uh, it's dry and it it lights pretty good. It's hard finding good wood in the middle of winter because everything's either frozen, but we kind of break in the weather. It's probably 36 right now. So hopefully we'll be able to find some stuff. Like this is real dry. This should work. Yeah. For open. So uh, that's the plan. A little sh quick shelter, some fire, just in case you ever get lost in the woods and you have to do something. Um, so we we made it so that we came out with really nothing. All we have is I think um, a pocket knife, which most people carry. I think that's our only tool we have. We have cell phones, but we're obviously not going to use them. We're gonna we're gonna make it like we have no cell service either. So self-reliant kind of stuff. All right, we'll pick back up in a little bit. We're going to find a nice shelter spot, and we'll see you guys in a few. Oh, uh, yeah, so we found an actually really good birch tree. It's starting to strip. And from my understanding, it's better when it's live because it, it's like basically hang drying right now, whereas the stuff we have on the ground is a little moisture. So it will burn, but this will burn first. Get a nice hot on fire going, and then this stuff will burn, and then we could add a few logs, but see it strips right off the trees. And we're in Massachusetts, we have a lot of birch. Um, depending on where you're from, if you're watching this from you know, far away and you don't have many birch trees, um, just do a little bit of looking. I'm pretty sure there's other trees that are similar that you could do this with. I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's, it's actually a good thing to know, just because it does happen. You never happens know. a lot. Uh, yeah, you just don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people, even us. I mean, we like to consider ourselves more experienced, but we've run into a few situations where we really had to consider whether or not to camp, and we weren't very prepared. So now we're trying to simulate what it would be like to be prepared because we do like to explore, but it's the wilderness. You know, you can get lost. Things could happen. You got to be prepared. Water is always huge. Um, having enough food for two days is good because, I mean, unless you're, you're a really good fisherman or something, I mean, chances are of running into wildlife in the winter are a lot lot more slimmer here 
I think, um, food-wise, and none of us are really hunters, so, you know, we try to be prepared with food, water, um, but a good old fire and shelter is the best, because the body can go a long time without food, I think up to a month, can only go a few days without water, we got running water nearby, so that's a plus, if we had to boil down snow, we could, um, so you could survive that way. Is uh, there a place that you have picked around here? It looks like a pretty good area. We should. What would you spot. What would you use use to determine where you would pick? Like, well, we'd, just in case, because it is winter time, and you don't obviously a storm can come up on you. So, like our fort, we try to make some sort of peak or. Um, you remember we'd mentioned like a Y in a tree, and you take a branch hook into the Y, and then you try to build around it. Um, Hard to explain, we'll show you um, our ideas on what a good shelter would be, and obviously we'd have to hold up to the elements, so that's, that's our plan. We're just going to look for a spot, why don't we look for a spot, and then we'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, uh, so we are looking, and typically um, when you're in the woods and you need to build a shelter, you want to try to look for something that you could use, like we got right here a tree that's already fallen. Um, if you had to, you could take the stuff off the ground. You can use this as an example. And you could build like a little heap. Just enough, like, for pine and stuff, just to sleep in to keep you warm. So this this could work. You got plenty of material on the ground to use. You got tons of sticks over there. And we we got tons of pine stuff here that we could cut with our pot knife if we had to. But I think what we're going to do today, um, we were trying to look for a, a certain kind of thing to start. And, uh, Right over here, follow me. Uh, see right here. Can you zoom into that one, Stephen, for me? It's got a perfect Y. We're going to jam a stick right in there, and we're going to build like a teepee down from the ground. It's going to be so much for what we were talking about over there. Well, we already got plenty of branches here on the ground. This one's a little frozen down, but that yeah, we could use. But we're going to find a branch. It's already so We're going to teepee down this way. Or maybe the other way, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I guess uh, we're going to find a stick, get it set up, and get a few um, sticks together, and then we'll get back to you, and we'll start constructing it. And maybe one person will work on the fire at the same time. All right, sounds good. See you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so what they're doing now is they're basically trying to find um, some fallen trees like this, a good centerpiece for that Y right there. So that's going to be our centerpiece, like I said. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to look around and find a nice, good, strong uh, tree that would go in there that's already detached from the ground. Because most times when you're hiking, you don't have any axes or anything like that unless you come in super prepared. So they're looking for something that's already off the ground. So may have found something. Perfect. There they go. And you can actually use those those branches that they're breaking off for firewood. Or you can use that actually to make the sides of your shelter as well. Which is really good. There's a lot of things that you can use out here. There's a lot of things that you can have multiple uses for. Uh, a perfect example of what a good centerpiece would look like. And plus, we've had a lot of winter storms here, so there's a lot of broken branches and stuff on the ground. Perfect for firewood, perfect for shelters. I mean, I could just pan across the ground. There's so many twigs on the ground. They're perfect. But I'll come over here and I'll show you this. Putting it in. give us uh, some, some durability. You gotta wonder too, like in the middle of the night, if it snows, you a little snow on the trees, 
You want it to be safe too. It's got to be able to take a little impact from a little bit of trees. Um, so I think this is a nice strong beam. Alright, are we leaving this on the ground probably? Yeah, we could. We could leave that part on the ground. Alright, so you found a really good flat spot. That's cool. Yeah, um, if we build the fire close enough, it, hopefully it'll melt some of this out and make it a little bit drier for us too. But you know we can throw some pine I down. Was thinking, do you think that maybe we can move it to the dry spot so it'll be better? See if it'll make that angle, yeah. Alright. That's about it right there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Alright, so I'll in the area out a little bit. Do you want me to do you want me to try to make a fire? Yeah, if you want to check questions. Alright, which side are you gonna put the lean is it going this way or is it going that way? I think we'll probably lean it out that okay, way. Okay, so the fire should go over there. Or uh yeah, because it's dry and uh Okay. Use the initial fire right here. We have to clear some of that stuff out here. Um because the fire actually would be better on this side. Um do you want to stick it over there, or do you like this spot better? No, I like this spot right here. Okay. We'll just, we'll see how it goes. Let's just plug some branches and stuff for now. Things that we could use. Because remember, the scenario is it's getting dark, so we got to move. We can't, can't okay. think too long. Do you need acting. me to help you get the uh, frame pieces for that first before I build the fire? And then you can just add the stuff on top. If you just want to help me get a bunch of like, logs like this, then okay. after I get some logs, then I'll do uh, like All right. All right, just be careful because we put our uh, our birch stuff right on this log, Mike. See it? Okay. Yep. All right, I don't want it to get wet. All right, let me go get some branches. So, guys, basically what we're doing, as you can see, is we're getting some branches together to lay across the side to make a nice back wall that will block all the wind out. Uh, we're going to get some, there's pine trees all over the place, so we're going to get some pine, we can lay it down on the floor, and also lay it on the back wall to keep the rain out, or snow, or wind as well. Just put them out anywhere? Yeah, just now I'm just going to start really leaning them up until it becomes a okay. wall, then we're just going to another stuff in there. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I'll just bring a brush. You can do that. You're better at it than me. You guys can see that we're basically just outlining a frame and then we're going to get some brush to make it solid. So you guys can see it coming together here. Do you still want me to get the pine? Yeah, get big ones, little ones, because they're all going to start coming together. You're going to use these? This kind of stuff? Yep. Okay. Perfect. I'll put it there. Now you guys can see, we're starting to bring in the pine. And this is going to give us a nice uh, break from the wind and any precipitation that comes down. Here, you can break the branches off of those, right? Yep. Okay. So guys, we have starting of some firewood here. We have our first bark to get it started, small little twigs, and then our main source of fire. So we're going to get going with that. He's going to find some rocks to make a little kind of like fireplace, which would be pretty cool. And then over here, we can check out what Michael's doing. Looking pretty nice. Nice, nice, nice. 
but best if you could find something that already kind of looks like this and yep. work with it. Yeah. Best thing, like we said earlier, is to find a fallen tree that's already on an angle and you can just build right off it. Follow me so See, after you, I know it kind of looks crazy up there, but afterwards, you can get it going, just come under here with a pocket knife and you kind of cove it out. You break the branches, cut them, and really cove it out. And then we could put some more here. I was thinking, you know, the fires over that angle will want the heat to kind of come in. So maybe I'll do it at this angle, just leave it open here. And remember, we're trying to make it big enough for three guys. We're big guys. We'd have to obviously spoon together in there. Like, uh, <laughs> but that's how you keep yourself warm. Body heat, fire, shelter. This is just basically protecting you from the elements. The wind, trees falling, or branches, obviously. If a big enough tree fell, there's nothing you can do, but it'll protect you from branches. It'll protect you from wind. It'll protect you from animals. But I'll get back to you in a minute. i got to keep going. We'll be some daylight. We got some nice rocks for a fire area. Yeah, you guys can see this is going to be really nice. Alrighty. I'm going to get a couple more. I heard if you stand them up. It reflects the heat back into the fort. Yes. Okay, can I borrow that pocket knife? There. Rocks, yeah. But the point is, is you want to find rocks like this that are tall as a heat reflector. And when you're building your fire pit, you want to try to wedge them up like this on an angle to keep the heat to blow in. And just build a, they call it a long fire, like this, and then you stack up all the, all the stuff long like this, so that all the heat goes into the, into the your shelter. It keeps you warm at night. But the fire out in the open, it's not going to send all the heat in here. It's just going to go everywhere. So we want to try to direct the heat into the fort. So let me keep on getting some. I'll show you how that works. So then lock it in with one behind it, see how it stands up? Yeah. So, I still got a lot to get, but I might build the fire now and then keep on working on it. Okay. But, uh, give me a minute. Yeah, okay. it probably would be good. Look at that. Can you see these in the, uh, film? Yeah, those are, guys, yeah. all those specks are garnets. All these are. I think they're black garnets, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's really you can cool, see though. them in here too. That's pretty funny. That's pretty cool. All those little specks. That's All cool. Right. I'm on quartz right there too. See it? Yeah. I'm gonna have Mike help me with this so we can. Okay. Garnets on it? Yeah, those things are huge. Yeah. That'll be good. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't have a knife. Yeah. But you see these? This is really windy right now. But you take this makes it fine like this. It doesn't hurt the tree. It grows back. But see this right here? That's what you want to use because it'll take a, a spark better. 
I'm gonna try that. If there's not enough, I'll keep going. All right, ready? Yep. All right, let's try this. Here's a, okay. So this is a magnesium rod. I didn't even know that. So what you wanna do, so a lot of things that people make a mistake is they think that all they have to do is strike it. But you have to actually carve the magnesium off. Like this. See how it flakes off? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It's really soft like aluminum. And you just make a pile of that. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's showing you. And you want to make a pile of that. All right. Let's see if I have enough here. I can't believe I've never tried this before, so I. Not that I recall. I have. You have done it? Yeah. Did it work? Uh, I almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> It's too windy out, that's why. Uh, so it just blew everything everywhere, you know? Yeah. That's a good reason to have this windshield, too. Yeah. So there's the magnesium. I Hopefully that's enough. It looks like it. So let's try this. Can't really see on the camera, so. All right, where's the striker? Does this thing even work? Let's see. Oh, yeah. There it is. See it? I'm just trying to keep my knee from getting wet. It's not good to get wet. Yeah. All right, let's try this here. Now I'm determined. This is kind of like a real life thing. Even though we're not in danger, I just want to see if I can do this. Try that again. Oh, the cover fell off. I can smell it. Yeah, it started. So, I can see how people in a real life scenario might get a little frustrated with this and give up and go to bed, but it's so important that you have a fire flat and go like, like that. Yeah. It worked better. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Get some tiny sticks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tiny Let me work on this. Okay. Your tiny stuff is right. Yeah. There. There it there goes, go. guys. There it is. Real life here. I did it. <laughs> so it is possible. Yes. It is possible. There it is. Proof that those work. And just so you know, trial and error, put it down on a hard surface and then push hard. And don't give up. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, all right. You want to go back to Mike? I'll get this substantiated here. <laughs> all righty. All right. That's awesome. Okay. So it is coming together. It looks and like it. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you want. See, realistically, if, if we're really stuck out here, I'm gonna cut down live pine trees. I'm yeah. trying my hardest not to simulate this. We do have one of respect. This is a historic area, like you saw. You came in the historic bridge and stuff. So. Now we want to make sure we respect the area, so I'm going to do the best I can with what I have. It would be a lot less time if I could just go to town and cut down live pine, but some of the stuff has fallen recently. Some of it's just the stuff on the ground that I'm shoving in there. I'm trying my best to use dead stuff, but we'll see how it comes. It's, it'd be a lot tighter if we had more pine, for sure. Um, that'll pack down, too, once we get everything in there. I want to put some larger branches in there, too, and really pull it together. It'll be safe. We'll see. Check back in a few minutes. Alright guys, so my dad's coming back with the uh, pine. Fire still going nice. It's going to be from the bed. Okay. See? Oh yeah. Lay it fluffy like this to teach you. If you want to show them what I mean, you can lay down on it. These are sit on it. Show them how it feels to be on it. Yeah. 
he's working on the back. Yeah. So we'll try this out here. It's actually nice. Whew. Obviously need to put more. But for a starter, it's pretty nice. Right here? Yeah. It's always good to to get your base down here because yeah. the fire's trying to come in. Yeah. But you see how I'm shoving it in? Yeah. To make it nice so you can't see a light through it. Then it will block off some of the rain too. Or snow. I'll go get some more pine first. I'm just shoving it in now. It's this one that's gonna come over here with us. Yeah. You can see if you do a walk around. <coughs> So I keep trying to take sticks that are curved, put them in like this. I'll take sticks, go through, and then when you put the pine there, everything kind of intertwined. Yep. And it gives it strength, too. Um, so it's coming together. Check out all the views. You can see how it's starting to dome out. But it takes, takes time. Um, obviously, once you get a fire going and you stay close to your tent, you could do it until you have to, until it's good enough to sleep in it. Yeah. The fire will keep you warm, and with three guys, our body heat would keep us warm. You'd survive. That's really the point. It wouldn't be beautiful unless you actually were planning on living out here, and you started in the morning, you built it all day, and then you could camp in it. It's very difficult. We had three guys, and you can see how far we've gotten and the time we got in. So if it really was getting dark, we'd be cutting it close, but we'd survive. And that's really the point of this, to see if we'd be able to survive. Um, we were able to do it with a pocket knife and what is it called, a flint? Yeah. To start the fire, that was pretty cool, huh? I, we never tried that before. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep working at it until we have to go. I want it to look as best as it can in the short period of time we have, just to... All right, guys, we just got a whole bunch of pine here that I'm really filling in. You can see this wall before it was really open. You can see, as you really get in there, it comes together. Yeah. Nice. And it will really That's hold. really dark. Yeah, and it was this whole area right here was basically open because I've been working more over there, kind of neglecting the side. Yeah. We're gonna put leaves and stuff in there too, with tons of small twigs. And just that was a good idea. Them. That was a good idea to get these underneath the pine trees. They're still kind of dry. Yeah, if we yeah. get them, let's see. I'm gonna put these all insulate as best as we can. So that nature will provide. For sure. Yeah. And in the winter, it's a little harder to get, but. Get it. Takes a little while. Hard work. You gotta look at it like this. If you don't do it, it freezes after time. Yep. Stuff like this. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna go up there on the hill. It looks like it's better. Alright, guys. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna call it a day. Um, not bad. We've probably been here for an hour. Um, so, let's just say we are hiking till 4.30, sun was going down at 5.30, we had to hurry up. We would survive in there. You know, we like to do stuff like this, even just to simulate, um, just to hang out, have a good time with friends. Uh, but I want to take one more walk through with you. Obviously, this is a great way. You can see how it kind of pushes the heat in towards you. You could probably it's, do more. It's an open plan, but obviously you could, uh, if you wanted to get a little more, you could try to lay some here and lay some that way so it just blows right into you and spend a little more time filling it in. So if you want to follow me this way, trying to get a nice wide view you know, of how we did. Now we're three big guys too, so we generate a lot of heat. So if we had to get inside there, um, we'd keep each other warm. And like you said, it took an hour. All we'd use was a pocket knife and a pen. I mean, obviously most people carry lighters. Nice, so we could survive. This is something we've been wanting to do for a while. We kind of did one way back with the snow. Uh, we had a lot of kids with us. It was kind of difficult, but it was fun. I mean, we got to hang out, and we actually got to see if we were able to do it. Most people don't know they're able to do anything until they try it. You know, most people could do a lot more than they think. They're just afraid to try it. So we wanted to simulate this. Uh, you know, there could come a time where you got nowhere to live. You got to be able to fend for yourself. you got to be able to take care of yourself. You know, we, we, especially here in America, we have a lot of luxuries. 
Um, so it's good, good training. It's good. Um, if you got kids, stay active. You know, I lost 16 pounds. You know, trying to get out here and do stuff. So that's good. If you don't believe me, see my pants are falling. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but all right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. We got we got families and life to to go back to. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us. Please subscribe. The little bell if you want. Um, all of our content. Obviously, this is Steven's channel. I'm just a close friend of his, trying to help it out. So, all right, guys, help it grow. Bye.